to Let's Talk with Tijuana. Today, we have the opportunity of hearing from our very own Jayla Bryant. She is going to talk to us about the whole rental process and how you can transition from being a renter into a buyer client. Hello, I am Jayla Bryant, as Ms. Evans mentioned. I am a realtor here at Prime One Realty who specializes in buyers, clients, and helping individuals rent properties that may have issues finding rentals elsewhere. Great, wonderful. So Jayla, can you tell us why do you like to focus on renters and buyer clients? Absolutely. So for buying a house, I know that it is not an easy process and it definitely takes you know some time to prepare to become a buyer. So I like to focus on people who are still in their renting stages. If they have something that may be hindering them from finding a rental property, property um, I will help them get into that property. Mm -hmm. And while they're in that property, I also help them create a strategy to end up buying a house. Okay. Um, it really brings me joy to, you know, just be understanding and understand that everybody's not in the place to buy right now, yeah. but their ultimate goal is to buy and I want to walk with them on that journey. Wonderful. Wonderful. So what does that process actually look like? Yes, ma'am. So the process, it starts by first, you know, understanding where you are. Do you want to rent? Are you ready to buy? If you're in a place where you're ready to rent, you would just contact me. There is a fee up front of $150. With that fee, that will allow you to have access to all the properties that I have that are available for rent now or maybe coming soon according to the dates that you're looking to move. We will go view those properties. I will provide applications for those properties, let you know the parameters that are needed, the credentials needed to apply for those properties, and you know, find something that you love and ultimately are looking to live in for the next year or so. Wonderful. Great. Jayla, what is the criteria to rent? Absolutely. So the rentals that I have access to, they're quite similar to a regular rental where they'll um, check your credit, your background check, eviction history, different things like that. Um, just going through me, there are a couple of perks. Just say, for example, if you have a credit score that's on the lower side, you may find a property owner that's willing to look past that and may charge you a non-refundable security deposit. Mm -hmm. Whereas in a typical rental, there's specific requirements you have to meet. If you don't meet them, then you're denied. Gotcha. Um, so I have access to people who, you know, understand that people have things that have happened in life mm -hmm. and are willing to give them a chance to find a home for themselves or their families or whatever their situation may be and allow them to build that credit and rental history. That's great. That's great. And so is there an application involved and a fee and, you know? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. So. As far as the application, each application is a little bit different. It's according to that property, their application fees can range from anything to $20 to $100. Okay. Um, they will require you to put anybody who's 18 or over on that application. Okay. There may be an additional fee for those people. And you know, besides that, it's, it's just like a typical rental application. It's just that in some cases, there's a little give and take there. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. And so again, it's a, background check, a credit check, eviction yes, check, and is there anything else that you're looking for? We'll definitely need proof of income, um, whether bank statements or, you know, paycheck stubs, but we'll definitely need that proof of income and typically two to three times a monthly rent. Okay. All right. Yes, Wonderful. So Jayla, how do you access these rentals? Yes, ma'am. So as a realtor, of course, I have access to the MLS where I'm going to see a lot of properties that other realtors may be renting out or have posted to our realtor site. But I'm also a property manager. So as a property manager, I have properties that I manage personally as well that may not be accessible online that okay. you can get first dibs to going through me as your um, realtor and property manager. Okay. So with those properties, you know, I do have clients that are looking for renters and I do, you know, let them know, hey, that I have this coming to the market. So, you know, I just have different pools that I pull the different rentals from and okay. allow my clients access to them. Great. All right, so Jayla, you mentioned about property management. So obviously that is a service that you provide. So tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely, so if you own a property and you are not looking to sell that property, you would like to make that into some income for you. I am a property manager that will find a tenant for your home, handle maintenance repairs, as well as collect rent for you. The only thing you have to do is sit back with your feet up and collect the rent. Um, I'm a very hands-on property manager. I really love what I do. Like I said, I have a plethora of clients who are looking for rentals. So mm -hmm. it comes with ease for me to place tenants in the homes. Okay. And I also have access to other 
ways that will allow tenants to get into your home is like, for example, Section 8. Mm -hmm. If you're open to that, that's more of a consistent guaranteed income. So as a property manager, I have access to both type of clients okay. and, you know, just looking to make my clients money. Great, great. So if you are out there viewing this particular YouTube channel and you're looking for a property manager, I say to give Jayla a phone call because she's definitely great at what she does. Yes. Yes. So Jayla, you mentioned about as a property manager that you will find the tenants, but, and that's great because you definitely need that. But what about all of the other services? For instance, let's just say that you have a client that's out of state and they have a property here that they would like for you to manage. Well, obviously they won't have, you know, the time to find a handyman to do certain repairs and such. So how do you handle that? Yes, ma'am. So um, as I mentioned, I take care of all of that. Even okay. if you're out of state or here locally, mm -hmm. there's nothing that you're gonna have to pick up the phone and schedule those appointments. If there's an issue, whether you want me to pay for it up front and you pay me on the back end, or you have a warranty that you would like to use, I'll okay. gather all of the information from the client and go from there. Um, like I said, my goal is for the property owner to just collect rent. Okay. I'm going to take care of everything else, which is why I do charge a monthly fee, which that just gives you security to know that, hey, I've hired somebody who's reliable and is going to take care of my home just as well as they would take care of their own. Wonderful. What is that monthly fee? It's 10% of whatever the rent is. So you and I will sit down or the client and I will sit down and discuss what is the income that you're looking to make. We'll okay. run some numbers and see if that monthly income or that monthly rental rate is, you know, proper. Mm -hmm. And according to that, I do charge 10% a month. Okay, great. That price. Wonderful. So Jayla, are there any special areas that you cover? So I really just specialize in North Carolina in general as far as my property managing goals. Mm -hmm. I have properties in New Bern, North Carolina, Fayetteville, North Carolina, okay. as well as here in Charlotte. So it's not really about you know, a distance thing because as a property manager, that fee that I get paid monthly will ensure that I go whatever the driving distance is to check on those clients. I do wow. quarterly check-ins to make sure the filters are up to date and that the house is still being well kept. So there, as long as it's in North Carolina, if you're looking to have a property manager or you have a property that you would like to put tenants in, I'm definitely, you know, the person that will get it done for you. Wow, you sound like you're a very hard working property manager. Yes, absolutely, you know? yes ma'am. Okay, wonderful. So most renters, at some point, they do want to become homeowners. So how do you make that transition from a renter to an actual homeowner? Yes, ma'am. So that's actually my favorite part, um, working with my clients and first getting them settled into a home that they're going to love. And mm -hmm. once we get them settled there, then we'll create a checklist and help them understand where their credit needs to be, where their savings needs to be, and different things that they need to help to do to help them transition. Mm -hmm. Even on the buyer side, we have a really great lender here at Prime One Realty that has the best down payment assistance programs where he can offer 30000 to 60000 Dollars, even and, 80. Right, even $80,000 uh -huh. in down payment assistance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it can be discouraging when you're renting and it's, it's scary. But once you get to the settle into your rental property, I'll be there every step of the way, not only helping you with that rental, but as well as helping you get ready to transition into owning your home and possibly you becoming a property owner and I'll be managing your property then. Look at there. Look at there. Yes, as Jayla stated, we do have um, a very strong lender connection and he has great down payment assistant programs this was some really great information so is there anything else that you would like to say well i would just like to say you know no question is a dumb question you know the first step is to really reach out and just inquire you never know you know what the answers you may receive or how ready you really are so you can definitely reach out to me um, i'm on instagram at jayla bryant First name, last name, Jayla Bryant, and I'd be looking forward to hearing from you guys. Yes, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to Let's Talk with Tijuana. And again, like Jayla said, if there's any property management needs that you have, or if you are a person that's looking to rent a home, please reach out to Jayla. Thank you so much. Until we meet again, be blessed.